Hi, this is Jeff from TournamentBowl.com, and this is a help video in order to show you how you can set up your brackets on TournamentBowl.com. A couple of things I need to uh, explain first is that you need to have a login already set up and be logged in. And if you don't have a login yet, that's okay. Just email me at Jeff at TournamentBowl.com, and I'll be happy to set you up. And you need to have a tournament already set up in Tournament Bowl. This one is called 2016 Demonstration. I just use it for these sorts of videos. So, um, you first thing you'll see is on your toolbar, tournament toolbar, you'll see a brackets link that really just goes to a help page. So you can look through that, and that gives you some instructions as well. But I'm going to show you how to do it. Brackets all happen in squads, so you'll always start with the squads page. And this tournament has two different squads. We are going to set up brackets in this squad. So you click that little bracket icon right there. And right now we don't have any divisions of brackets, and so the first thing we need to do is set one up. So let's say this is Division 1, I guess that's as good a name as any. And we'll call them $5 brackets, and let's pay $25 for first and $10 for second. This is games 1, 2, and 3. Now if, if this was a five-game set, we could make a division of brackets that's games 2, 3, 4, or 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, 3, 4, any, anything you want, or even all five games would work. And we want to allow bowlers from all of these different events to be in our brackets. They can all be in brackets together. And let's make these scratch brackets just for simplicity's sake. And for now, we can just make one bracket in this division. Of course, we'll probably sell lots of brackets, and, and we won't know until we start taking the money. So we can come back and change this later, or you'll see that Tournament Bowl will actually calculate for that for you later. So you can just leave it as one. And you can leave this blank, or you can put a note there. And create the brackets. And so now you can see that we have one bracket in that division. And let's make another division of brackets, just so you can see how they're different. And let's make these $2 brackets. And we'll make these pay $10 and $5. And for $2, let's attract some handicap bowlers here. 90% of 230. Uh, minimum handicap be 0, so nobody gets negative handicap. That should be pretty good there. OK, so the brackets are now built. In order to sign people up, we go to the roster. The bracket roster shows us all of the bowlers that are in this squad. And they're bowling various events. They're by alpha order. And so this is where you put in how many brackets everybody wants. Now, I use this page right here. Anywhere you see a printer, that's going to be a printable. And when I do my league brackets, I just print that out. And then I walk around, and I take the money and, and just mark down on here. And then I sit down at the computer, and I put them in. So you can use that if you want. So we'll make up some numbers here for numbers of brackets people are going to get into. Maybe some people get into the scratch brackets, but not the handicap brackets. And some people want to get into both. Sometimes you have lots of numbers here. And let's see how we're doing here. We've got to make this work out somewhat even. Save. Now 13, that's not a very good number. We'd probably want to get that up to 16. So let's see what we can do here to, to sell some more. What if we do a 2 there and a 2 there? and Oops, that was too many. Sorry, Oscar. OK, this will be good for illustrating here. Um, you can see now that there's 17 spots out of 8. Now, 8 is because we only made one bracket. But really, 17 is not a very good number. Uh, we would like that to be either 16 or 24. Otherwise, we're going to have to give some money back. That's what this tool is to help you with here. So let's click on that, and you'll see that we have an option here, really only one reasonable option, and that is to run two brackets. And we're not going to have any buy bowlers, and we're going to refund one entry. So it's going to be one of these that are red here. Somebody's going to get kicked out of the bracket. They'll be disappointed. So let's go ahead and do it. And oh, Danielle was chosen, got the short straw. So we're going to have to give her $5 back. And if we click that, that Save Report, that's going to give us a little printable. And we can print that out or something like that, or just remember that we owe her some money. And now when we go to the bracket roster, we see, oh, it's green. 
and now it's two brackets. That's because we fixed it. So tournament bowl is all ready to go now, and these bowlers are ready to put into their brackets. And here are the two brackets, only they're empty, and we fill them by cl clicking the fill button right here. Now we haven't touched the second division yet. We'll work on them. We'll work on them separately. So we click the fill button, and tournament bowl figures out all the matchups, making sure we don't get duplicates, and there they are. Okay, so let's look now at this next. Uh, this next one, and let's set it up to where maybe we'll need some buys. That'll be good. So if we get five more, let's see, what if we get a three and a two here? That'll that'll be good. Save. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so we've got 23 spots out of eight. We can anticipate probably what we'd be doing here is we'd be um, putting in a buy bowler, but if we click right there, here's some options. We could run two brackets, and we're going to give seven entries back. That's because we got to get down to 16, and we had, what, 23 of them sold. Or we can run three brackets, and that's going to require a buy, and we don't have to give anybody any money back. So whatever tournament bowl thinks are reasonable options, they'll be listed here, and you just click the button to do it. So we would probably do this one. And you can see now, there's a buy bowler has been added to the roster. And that buy bowler is going to be, um, is going to have one entry here. And so now if we look at the bracket roster, that one's green. So it's ready to fill. There's three brackets, and you can see the buy bowler's right here. It's in one. And that bowler's just going to get a zero every time. You don't have to touch him. He's already got the scores in there. And they won't show up on the standings either because they're in a different event than singles, doubles, or team. And so we click fill, and it's ready to go. So at this point, we don't have to touch brackets anymore. When we put in our scores, they're all going to show up. You can see them all if you look right here, see all brackets. And that's just each one of these columns is a bracket. You can see the actual brackets if you click there. You can see our buy bowler. Zero plus zero handicap, zero total. So that that's ready to lose. Way to go, Jason. And if you look here, this is really what your bowlers are going to see. So you can see every bowler that's in brackets and how many they're in. And if you click their name, it shows you their matchups. So they're bowling against Paxton and Jeff. Hey, that's me on lane seven and lane five. And then in division two against Andrew and Danielle. And you can see the actual brackets if you click on the verses. So that's it. That's how you do your brackets. And uh, they're pretty easy. Once you get here at the end, you just click Payout, and that'll show you how much everybody won. So have fun, and let me know if you have any questions.